Welcome back to the Man United stream. Hope you're doing well. We have got a busy, busy show for you today. So make sure you stick around. Make sure you hit that like button on this video before you go anywhere. So it gets pushed out to lots more Man United fans. And if you're new to the Man United stream channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can keep on top of all the Manchester United news and opinions in one single dose and that is this show this channel it'll give you everything you need to know about Manchester United and more and of course in today's show we're going to be talking about that Newcastle game in the Carabao Cup can Man United go and get that win against Newcastle Newcastle are going to be out for blood they're going to be out for revenge but will Newcastle get their revenge will they be playing a weakened team or will Man United after that loss in the derby game against Man City be up for this game and really want to prove a point and bounce back hard we will see we'll discuss this in this show today we're also going to be discussing in today's show why Kobe Maino will not be featuring in tonight's game against Newcastle. We're also going to be looking at Sancho and what's going on with him. Will he apologise or not? Is he on his way out or is he ready to stay and make a complete U-turn? And finally, in today's show, we're going to be talking about reports of a massive change coming in at Man United. Where will that change be? We'll discuss this and more in today's show. Okay, so let's kick off today's show with that huge game in the Carabao Cup against Newcastle. Castle, the team that we faced in the final in the Carabao Cup last season. We won them, but will Newcastle be out for revenge or will Eddie Howe actually play a weakened team? Are his priorities lying within the Carabao Cup or is he looking elsewhere at the Premier League and at the Champions League? If Eddie Howe does end up playing a weakened team, Man United might have a good chance of going through and getting a win over Newcastle. But that is, of course, if Ten Hag or also doesn't play a weakened team. We are hearing that Ten Hag could be making huge changes, massive changes in the team tonight. He could be taking out quite a few players that played in the derby game and bringing in a lot more new faces and seeing what they can do for Man United. I think that might be a good choice. I think personally Rashford should, shouldn't be playing tonight. I think Bruno Fernandes shouldn't be playing tonight. I think maybe Mount should be playing instead of Bruno Fernandes. Garnacho obviously instead of Rashford. I think Amrabat should be playing. Maino is not playing tonight. We've heard that he is not playing. He played last night in an under-21s friendly and that was it. He's not going to be playing tonight. Of course, he can't play two games back-to-back. -back. We're looking at Casemiro in the middle of the park, maybe with Amrabat. I think that's how he's going to line up tonight. But we'll have to wait and see what Ten Hag does. We are getting reports from sources within Man United that Ten Hag is is going to make changes tonight so we're going to have to wait and see what changes Ten Hag actually does make to the team tonight. Another player that we would like to see debut for Man United is Altai Bendy, the new Turkish goalkeeper. Why has he not played a single game for Man United yet? We want to see him in competitive football, we want to see him in the Carabao Cup, see what he's like. Is he a suitable alternative to Onana or are we looking at just having one goalkeeper throughout this season? In the last 24 hours we are getting reports that Man United are on the hunt for a new goalkeeper and are looking around to sign a new goalkeeper in the January transfer window. That could be obviously because Anana is off on his international duties in the African Cup and if that's the case they'll need a new goalkeeper and they're not confident with Altai Bendia. Why the hell did we sign him? I have no idea. He's a second goalkeeper. He should be actually playing in games and we should be seeing what he's made of. If he was not ready to be in Manchester United as a second goalkeeper, why did we go ahead and sign him, especially knowing that Onana could be off on international duty? It's going to be really interesting to see how the two teams line up today and you will get to see what competition they are prioritising. If Newcastle put out a weak team tonight, you know that they'll be concentrating on the Premier League and the Champions League. I expect Man United also to make some wholesale changes in that team, but will they still put out a decent strong team to make sure that they progress in the Carabao? Back up. I personally think that Ten Hag has no choice but to do that because we right now in the Premier League look like we might miss out on that fourth spot and in the Champions League it doesn't look any better either. So Ten Hag must secure this cup at least. Now also in the last 24 hours we've heard news on Sancho. Yes, this keeps on going on and on and on. We still haven't resolved this Sancho issue and it does look like that Man United 
United and Ten Hag have been pushing to get an apology from Sancho, but Sancho is not shifting. He's sticking to his guns, saying that he's not going to apologise to Ten Hag. He stands by what he said in relation to Ten Hag's comments. So despite all the efforts of the people at Man United, it does look like Sancho is going to be making an early exit out of the club in January. It does not look like Sancho is going to come back to Ten Hag and apologise, and Ten Hag will not have any other choice but to get rid of him. Drop your comments below, get involved, tell us what you think about this Sancho issue. Do you think it's something that Ten Hag has dealt with really bad or do you think it's Sancho that's the problem? Drop your comments, we love to hear from all Man United fans and also let us know what you think Ten Hag should be doing in tonight's game. Do you think he should be playing a weakened team or do you think he should be playing a strong, strong team and making sure that we get through to the next round by beating Newcastle? Now finally, we're getting some reports that there's something massive on the horizon for Man United. There's changes that are going to happen at United that will be surprising to lots of fans out there. Whether that change is Ten Hag himself and whether they're going to replace the manager, we're not quite sure. We don't think that is the case despite a lot of pressure that has been piled on Ten Hag. We feel Ten Hag is here to stay unless something dramatic happens. Now, we could also be looking at changes of player, changes of player style on the pitch. Now, now that is a possibility Ten Hag has been saying that he will be looking to change things up and it could mean that there's some big players in that first 11 that will be dropped to the bench and that could be the massive change that we're looking for and that could reignite our Premier League season because it right now it looks like that we're not even going to qualify for the top four spot and if Man United fail to make that top four position in the Premier League this season it could mean the end of Ten Hag's career at Man United because we have seen in the past no matter what the Glazers and the board have made it a condition of any manager's contract to make sure they get the top four finish and if they do not get the top four finish it's always means that they get rid of the manager and someone else comes in so that is why Ten Hag needs to prioritize the Premier League and make sure that the fortunes turn around now these reports of a massive change coming at Man United could also be talking about the takeover and how Sir Jim Ratcliffe is taking that 25% of Man United and he could come in and make some huge huge changes bringing in a director of football and bringing in other personnel to take over at Man United, the CEO of Man United might also lose his job. So we're looking at new people coming in at the top and they could make a drastic change to the way Man United are operating right now. Let us know in the comments below what change you would like to see at Man United. Would it be on the pitch with the players? Would it be the Glazers or would it be the manager? Drop your comments below, let us know. You were watching the Man United streamer channel by the fans for the fans. Goodbye.